Hi, I'm Dr. Nick, the PC Doctor. Today I'm going to show you how to do something really simple that a lot of users want to do, but don't necessarily know how to do. I'm going to show you how to burn a DVD using Windows XP or Windows Vista, depending on what you have. Now you'll need a couple of things for this. Of course you're going to need a computer, you probably already have this if you're watching this video. You'll also need some video files on the computer to burn to the disk, and you'll need a DVD. That's basically all there is to it. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. Burning a DVD in Windows Vista is a really easy thing to do. The first thing you want to do is insert the DVD into the drive. I've already done that. This will just take a second for the dialog box to appear, which will give us a bunch of options for what we can do to the disc. In our situation, we want to burn a video disc so that it can play on DVD, regular old DVD players and not just on a computer. So when this box appears right here, we want to choose Burn a Video DVD Disc using Windows DVD Maker. So click on that. Windows DVD Maker will start. The first thing you want to do is give your disc a title down here. This disc is going to contain a couple of Family Guy episodes, so I'm going to call it Family Guy. Family Guy. Sorry for my bad typing. The next thing you want to do is add the video files to the disc. So push the Add Items button and select the video files that you want to add. Push Add when you've selected them, and you'll see they'll appear here in this sort of playlist thing like in Windows Media Player. You can play with this list, so let's say I want this one to play second, I just push the down arrow and it moves down there. When you're done playing with this list, look down here to make sure that you have enough space on the disk. This tells you how much space will be used if you were to burn the disk with these video files. In my case, I'm using 43 minutes, so I have plenty of space. The next thing you want to do is set the DVD burner menu to the drive with the blank disk in it. Once you've selected that, click on the next button, and this screen will appear. This screen allows you to create a menu for your DVD. A menu is the thing you see before the movie plays, which allows you to like select the scenes or just play the movie right away. There are a lot of styles that come with Windows Vista, so try to play with them all. And if you can learn how to use the, like some of the more advanced features with this uh, ma DVD maker, you can really do some pretty neat stuff. Windows Help is always a good start to uh, learning some of the more advanced features. When you're done playing with the menu, just push the burn button down here. I don't want to burn this disc right now because I already have the episodes on a different disc. I'm just using this for tutorial purposes. So I'm going to push cancel. But if you were to burn the disc, just push the burn button and you'll see a dialog box appear giving you what the drive is doing. And you'll see a bar going across the box that will let you know when it's done. So I'm just going to cancel that. So that's how easy it is on Vista because Vista is nice and it comes with a DVD burner built right in. XP is a little bit more difficult. In order to burn on XP, we need to find our own video burning software. So what you want to do is open up your internet browser, go to Google, and search for free DVD burning software. There's over a million results, so it's pretty common. So click on that and search for it, and select the first link. It's uh, thefreecountry.com. Click on that link, and scroll down until you see a list of free DVD, CD burners, and other stuff like that. Find the one that suits you best, install it, and then burn your disc there. Now I can't give you a tutorial for each of these, just that would take way too much time. But there's tons of good documentation for all of these burners online. So you shouldn't have too much trouble learning how to do this. This is Dr. Nick, the PC Doctor. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to burn a DVD. It's really easy to do and saves you a lot of hassle in the long run. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.